how to decorate your doors with basic regular items. Hey guys, Seed of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be covering up some old doors. And yeah, you can just paint them, but I would like to do something more than just painting over the door. So I'm going to be starting with 3D panels over the two doors that I was showing you guys earlier. And I'll be attaching them with a mounting tape that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm doing this so that if in the future I don't like the design, I can easily take it off. But if you want to make it permanent, you would have to use a strong adhesive and attach the 3D panels to the doors. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be adding trims around the door. And I'm going to cut them to an angle using an angle cutter and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I've got two doors close to each other, so I'll be repeating the same design that I did for this one on the other one. I'll be closing up these visible lines here with caulk. I'll be using a much slimmer PVC trim to decorate the sides of the doors. You can get this from Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm going to be covering the trims with gold contact paper and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'm not so sure about this one either, so because of that I'm going to be mounting it with a Dollar Tree mounting tape. I love the way the doors look like now and they have a unique look with a 3D panel. For the second design that I'll be sharing with you guys will be for this large door. Now because of the design that's on the door, I would have to cover it up first before I continue with the project. I would like to see what a wooden door here would look like so I got this from Walmart and I'm going to be attaching it on the door.
Now for the middle part where the door handle is, I'll be using this rubber floor mat that I got from Lowe's. Spray paint them silver and attach them to the door. In order to have it positioned well, I had to use my hand to locate where it's kind of bulging out. And then I'll use my nail gun to attach it firmly to the door. I opened up provisions for the lock and the handle. This is a molding that I got from Lowe's and I'll be spray painting this silver to use it as the frame for the door. The design you see at the bottom was for a different door, but then it's the same molding that I use for this door as well. I'll be covering PVC lattices with mirror reflective paper and attaching them to the door. I'm going to be cutting smaller strips of mirror reflective paper to use on the thinner PVC strips. And these will also be used on the door. This is beautiful and simple the way it is, but I would like to see what it's going to look like with a screen panel. And I've used this before in my previous home. And all I did was take a screen panel, spray paint it silver, cover it with Mod Podge, and sprinkle crushed mirror glass over it. And when it was dry, I covered it with extra layers of Mod Podge to make sure that the crushed mirror glass stays in place. When it was dry, I cut it into two and attached them to the sides of the door. I repeated the same thing and cut them to size to fill up the empty spaces that I have on the door. This is what it looks like. The middle can be changed, so what I did was to use a white contact paper that's marble at the middle. this design you can choose to leave it simple or add extra design to it or even make it brighter and this design came out the way it is because of the inspiration I got when I was looking at two rubber floor mats which turned out to be the perfect medallion for the door I hope you all enjoyed this video now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.